All right, good morning, everybody. We've got temperatures this morning that it all started into the lower 40s and even some upper 30s in Science Hill to kick off the day 40 in Owensville. Now, again, these were the low temperatures. This is where we've climbed since then, though. Upper 40s and near 50. Uh, still some mid 40s, though, hanging on in some of the deeper valleys. So a chilly morning. Jackets need it early on, but by the afternoon, just like yesterday, you won't need those jackets. At least most of you won't anymore. If you're in the shade, maybe a little. Starting to see some of the leaves beginning to change color here in Lexington from our home view. As you could see on the, the trees there in the distance from our Chevy Chase Tower here. But overall, look, look at that sky. Blue sky. Not a cloud. Not a cloud anywhere uh, out there. We did have some fog early on. It was very patchy. Southeast Kentucky. But that is going by the wayside now as high pressure is just going to, I mean, it's just not moving anywhere the next few days. It's just going to sit there. We head down to the tropics, though, and we absolutely are still looking at a very powerful hurricane. This is Hurricane Milton. Uh, the uh, last update at 8 a.m. still puts it as a Category 4 hurricane with winds at 145 miles per hour. Forecast to strengthen again today to a Category 5. Then weaken back to Cat 4, then weaken a little more to a Cat 3. That's the forecast at least as it makes landfall between Cedar Key and Cape Coral, Florida here. Right now the center is forecast to go very close to Tampa uh, as a Category 3 into the wee hours of Thursday morning could still be a category four, maybe even a five. We'll see if any wind shear is able to weaken the system out just a little bit. Doesn't look like it's going to be drastic. Then it moves back in the Atlantic and beyond uh, impacting Florida. Doesn't look like it has any major impacts to any other lower 48 states. That's good news. Upper 60s, low 70s, sunny and pleasant today. Tonight, another chilly one. So those chilly mornings and warm afternoons continue. Look at this by tomorrow morning, likely back in the low to mid 40s. The next big thing, warmer air mass that moves in this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, upper 70s to near 80, and then chilly air rolls into town as we get into Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. Beyond our seven day forecast, I think we could have some highs next week in the 50s. So for today, it's very pleasant. Average high this time of the year is still about 72. So we'll be in that ballpark tomorrow and Thursday and Friday. And there's that surge ahead of the next front for Saturday, Sunday, back up for 70s to near 80. And then we drop to the low 60s on Monday, maybe some upper 50s.